Hello, everybody. I'm sharing my screen here with you. Okay, this week for week three, we are almost done. Halfway there. <laughs> I know it probably doesn't seem like that for you guys, but on my end, it goes so fast. It really does. Um, our main topic this week is going to be about surveying, how to keep pay competitive. Um, compensations, those extraneous variables, um, looking around at other competition, um, where are, are our employees transferring to if they leave us? What are the, the um, employees wanting? Are they happy in their jobs? So and at times, managers are going to need to do job evaluations. They're going to need to do um, look uh, have a look into their organizational culture, their processes. What keeps the employees happy? Now, money isn't everything, right? That's what I try and teach my high school students. They all think they're going to leave school and they're going to get this amazing job. They're going to be able to have a lake house right out of college. It doesn't work that way. Um, you have to find that niche. You have to find what works for you. Not everybody's going to work in corporate America in the city. They're not going to want to live urban. I'm from a very rural community. So living in our rural community and finding a good job that pays well, but not compared to what's in the city, that may be worth the compensation um, difference for that. So we have a great presentation here again this week. I'm going to skip to slide four. And a survey is a systematic process of collecting and making judgments about the compensation paid by other employers. Again, those extraneous variables, those things around us, those people around us. We are going to look at surveys and how to take surveys, what the results of surveys mean, and how to collect that information and then use that data to be competitive in our, in our um, ability to keep our, our employees. So with my students as well in the past, I talk about competitiveness. Um, I'm going to give an example of a small electrical company. Um, it's in a rural community and they hire two to four employees and these employees top out at about $22 an hour. They start, depending on how much experience they have, 10 to $12 an hour until they learn the basics of our business, this electrical business. Then they can increase based on job quality, job performance, their ability to come to work on time, and their professionalism and their efficiency. These kids though, coming out of a technical school, or perhaps they are not knowing what they need to do and they say, hey, can I work for you? I'll learn um, kind of apprentice with you. They're hard to keep. Some of them are hard to keep. And then you have the, the kids that are never gonna leave. They're probably gonna work for you forever. Um, the things that those kids are looking at is I can make $25 at starting out in the city compared to the small electrical company in a rural community working for $12 to $20 an hour. But that doesn't always mean that the dollar is the bottom line. There are other things that those kids have to look at, those people have to look at, those potential employees have to look at. Union. Kansas is a non-union state. Missouri is a union state. Where I live, people can drive back and forth the border and go to work at any either place and it's not even thought about. It's 40 minutes away. However, that 40 minutes may turn into an hour and 40 minutes if that employer, the union sends them to say Kansas City, or even a two and a half hour um, drive if they send them to Springfield or somewhere else larger in Missouri. Also, 
It depends on the type of work that these people like. Do your employees like commercial businesses? Do they want to be up on a skyscraper? Do they want to be up on an electrical tower all day, every day? Um, or do they want to do residential work? Going into the apartments across the street and working on people's light fixtures or putting up um, electrical fans, uh, ceiling fans. Flexibility. Um, with the individual who has a small business, they may cut out at two o'clock on the afternoon if there's not much going on or if it's a nice day. And those kids then get the day off paid. Or they can ask for a day off. Or hey, can I cut out a little bit earlier? Because it's, it's casual. Whereas if they work for that larger company, they will have to sit down, write out the form, the leave request, they only have a certain amount of time that they can use. But there's also benefits working for a larger company as well. Those benefits, they can be 401ks, they can be um, paid insurance, they can have family insurances, they can have company vehicles, dental vision. That gets expensive for the small guy who's working to put braces on his own kids. And also, there are apprenticeships trainings. You can learn the old school way with this guy who owns the small business, or you can go into the apprenticeships and training for the union or a corporate world and learn on the job. Um, so companies have to look at all of these different benchmarks of what makes their business stand out among the others and are their pay skills following suit. I'm going to skip the slide 17 and 18. When you're, we have a lot of our benchmarks here, how to design the survey, but I want you to also notice on 17 and 18, all the way through your career in college, if you go any further in business or administration or the healthcare system, you are gonna, you are going to do data surveys. And some of these things that you need to do is to measure and know the terminology for these measurements, the mode, the mean, median. So on slide 17 and 18, I need you to remember, I need you to study these because these are going to come up in about every single business class you're going to take. So look at these statistical measures to analyze survey data. Okay, the rest of it you can go on and do yourself, take your notes out of your textbook reading. I'm going to go through the assignments here. I have put in some discussions that you will see after you have your initial discussion. Um, I had discussions graded from week two. They were really good. Thank you for that. In serve, uh, discussion 3.1, this survey is the main focus of the chapter. There are several components, quite a few components actually, about the design of the survey. I want you to choose one of those components. Do not go in depth with your first component that you choose because if somebody else has already chosen that component, I want you to go on to a different one. So what I would suggest is possibly creating a discuss reply saying which component you pick and then going back and giving that information about biasness in the design. So Talia has already um, did hers and then I asked her to specifically say which component. So um, she will get back with me on that. Um, Misty has decided on comparing the job position to others. That's the component she chose. Um, I also have a website here that you'll be able to read from the Harvard Business, using Business Review. And that has a lot of information about getting into these surveys and what is bias and what is not. Um, our next, oops. Our next one is job analysis. 
Okay, with job analysis, um, you are going to be looking at organizational culture here. And a lot of managers say that job analysis is a waste of time. That is looking at what people do compared to what people get paid. And we kind of looked at that a week too when we were telling, when we were doing the uh, discussion about, hey, I was hired to do this, but now I'm doing everybody else's job because I'm the only one that gets things done around here. Okay, so trying to figure out these job analysis of what people should be doing is very, is it important or is it not? Maybe everybody should be doing everybody's jobs together, that integration component. So you're going to rebuke, uh, rebuttal, the pros and the cons. Please be nice. You don't want anybody to have their feelings hurt on that. And I also gave you some interesting reads about pros and cons of job analysis that I found. Another one, Small Business Chronicles, um, Management Studies, and yeah, that's another management study that I'll let you look at when you do your initial post. And lastly, your apply assignments. Um, you are going to look at a current or former position and you're going to design a short A survey and then give a one to two page essay. What I want to do here is that it gives you this website, glassdoor.com. This is kind of cool. Um, excuse me. Okay, so it's going to ask you to log in. And it, I just logged in like with one of my social media things or my Google account. And then it started asking me questions about where do you work and what do you do? And I just clicked off of that and this still took me into Glassdoor. So I just left it at that. And I'm going to type in um, I don't know if this will give me anything, but we'll look at it. Yeah, no. So I'm going to do just jobs near me. I'm in Highland, Kansas right now. Oh, I gotta take that out. I'll do office manager. Okay, so this is healthcare, it looks like. Senior living, dental, I did see another, there's Hy-Vee, Reed Automotive. There was one though, I'm not finding it now. I thought there was a school that I could, oh, here it is, State of Missouri. Nope, that's not it. I'm just gonna go with this. Okay, Atchison Hospital, this is a hospital um, near me. I actually had all my kids there. And they have an office assistant job that is available. And it gives information. So here's your job description that we want, went over last week. Then it talks about the company. Um, some people have rated it. I'm not worried about that. But what I am looking at is the salary information here. In your assign or in your textbook in the PowerPoint, it talks about benchmarks. And these are benchmarks about salaries at this organization. And you will go back through and look at these to make sure that you are getting the information that you can use to create a survey based on characteristics of these organizations. Okay, so you're going to look at the geogra uh, geography of the position. You're going to look at the um, company, the type of job, the salary, and all of these other different jobs here you can search for. I'm going to just put teacher up here and see what comes up. Maybe I'll find a new job, right? Hmm. Okay, St. Joseph, Missouri Schools. I'm just going to do St. Joseph School District and see what comes up. There's a lot of different jobs, but I'm basically looking at the company. Okay, size, okay, that's a big organization for me. I'm not sure that's a fit for me. So that would be one of your geography type situations you would look at. Okay, and there's your salaries for the different benchmarks. 
there's reviews and now we have benefits as well. Okay, so last thing I want to mention is look at your rubrics. Make sure that you are um, following all of those, getting everything completed and um, marking off all the T's and dotting the I's. Okay, if you have any questions, please message me. I will have my phone with me this weekend. Thursday, I will take off and kind of be um, device free. So have a great one and take care.